I think we can forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. You're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself. To the brink of death. Get up. <sighs> Come on, car isn't gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Really? Push! my legs Just you guys even pushing as you hard as I can stand everything by. I've got and all in love and stay by me oh stay by me oh stay now Umbra, bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So. I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. All set. Take care out there. I know. You're not gonna tell me. Then don't ask. What was that about? <sighs> you don't say. Statement regarding the forthcoming treaty. Words cannot express the joy in my heart on receiving word of this coming peace, nor the pride I take in my betrothal playing a part in this historic moment. On this joyous occasion, some have voiced cause for concern. The fear I will be unable to fulfill my duties as Oracle. Please rest assured, my marriage will not stand in the way of my calling. You will find me in your towns and villages, as you always have, and I shall continue to bless you all. Lady Luna Freya will set forth from Tenebrae for her wedding ceremony in the coming days. Please be advised that during this time alone, her duties as Oracle will be suspended. It's in the treaty? Of course. Simple formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Here we are. <sighs> We made it. Ready to set sail? Just gotta find my sea legs first. <laughs> Better hurry. I. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> Whoa.
what's this? Some sort of souvenir. <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. <sighs> oh, yeah, right. <sighs> you believe what that guy said about the port being closed? I'm skeptical, though I won't discount the possibility. I say we go check it out for ourselves. ship in sight. What gives? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait. Hold on. Hmm. If only... <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Yeah. What's going on? Where are you? Outside the city. With no way back in. Makes sense. <sighs> makes sense? Are you serious? What about any of this makes sense? Listen, I'm heading out to Hammerhead. <sighs> about the king. It's true. <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth, you know where to find me. Get moving. Right. What did the Marshal have to say? City being hammerhead. And the King? Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the royal tomb. The marshal Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to move. Focus. Got it. Any plan of the time? Plow right through them. <laughs> I'll circle around. What do the world do? More than curiosity. Making some looses. There's one way to find out. Marshal. At last, Your Highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright. 
And duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. He always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice.